Let's do some Glenn. What's Glenn? Wait, who's Glenn? You're Glenn? I'm Glenn? No. Glenn is a version of a hero workout that we're going to do today. So, in today's workout for you at home, we are going to do Team Glenn. So you're going to find a partner, find a friend, find a socially distant workout buddy over Zoom, over Skype, over FaceTime, blah, blah, blah. Or just show up to class and we'll pick a person for you. In your team of two, you are going to complete the following. 50 dumbbell cleaning jerks, 2,400 meter run, 70 pull-ups or high pulls on each arm, 2,400 meter run, and 120 burpees. We will split those reps in half, in quarters, however you please, however you like, and get after it. So, let's talk cleaning jerks. I've done my cleaning jerks. Should be a weight which you can do 10 or more reps unbroken, preferably on the higher hand, maybe even up to 20 unbroken reps there. In those, you should be able to split those with your partner, maybe go 10s, maybe go 15, so 15, 15, 10, 10. Big thing is the dumbbells or the objects you're using are never just resting on the ground, they're always moving in some form or fashion. All right, on the runs, both runs will be split every 400 meters. So you'll run 400 meters, I'll run 400 meters. You'll run 400 meters, I'll run 400 meters. That means we'll go three 400 meters a piece and then transition into the pull-ups. On the pull-ups, pick a stimulus in which you could do 10 of those unbroken at minimum, maybe potentially more. We would prefer a strict pull-up here instead of a kipping pull-up. Also, we would prefer a high pull over a kipping pull-up as well. We want to watch out for those strict pull-ups, especially on a lot of these pull-up bars and things that we're making out of nothing. We want to be very, very careful there. On the high pull, make sure you're using the back of your body, not just the front of your shoulder. So we'll show a demo there. Make sure we're externally rotated back with the shoulder pulling and using the back of our body. Again, run, we already talked that. On the burpees, you can split these however you want. Big key here is to be able to stay moving. So if that means fives, great. If that means tens, great. What we don't want to see is slow, steady burpees here. We see a quick play a little bit and then rest. Again, you're trading off with your partner throughout this workout. So think quick burst, rest and recover. Quick burst, rest and recover. Time frame wise, we're looking for something between 20 and 30 minutes here. So for those of you who look at this and go, oh, I can sprint through that in 15 minutes, make it a little more challenging, make the weights a little bit harder. Maybe add some weight to your pull-ups. Maybe wear a vest when you run, something like that. But for those of you who look at this and go, how do I finish that within a day? Then maybe we bring the weights down on the dumbbell cleaners. Maybe we bring the reps down there. On the runs, maybe you go 200 meter runs on your turn, not a 400 meter run. On the pull-ups, you scale that number back. Maybe it's only, you only do 20 strict pull-ups and your partner can do however many they want to do. Same thing, if you both want to do that. Again, on the run, you can pare that down. Again, we're looking for just about two minutes of work. So if you're running a full 400, that's fine. If you're running maybe a quarter full 100 because you're running up a steep hill and back down, that's fine too. And then on the burpees, something you can do 15 of in a minute. Whatever that scaling option is for you, 15 of those in a minute, even if that means maybe we bring this number down a little bit there. Okay? So high volume workout, a lot of work to be done between you and your partner. So split this up, break this up very smartly, pass back and forth, communicate throughout the workout as you go. All right? Let's go through the three movements. I think you guys all got running. You should be fine. So first movement is a dumbbell cleaning jerk. Today we would prefer to have a dumbbell in each hand if we can don't have a heavy enough dumbbell for that, or you have too heavy of a dumbbell, I should say, then you can use one hand and do it two-handed like that. If you have a sandbag, kettlebell, something like that, that's always okay as well. So, what we're looking for is you take the dumbbells from the ground, up to your shoulders, and then overhead, nice and smooth like that. So again, we want a nice power clean, extension of the legs, turn and catch, then a nice Jerk, and back down. So you can cycle through the reps as we go, okay? A couple of things to watch for here. Dumbbells are gonna be lower to the ground than the normal barbell. 
sandbag is the same variation, it's gonna be much lower to the ground. So what we wanna watch for is when we go to pick these things up, when we're rounding over on our shoulders and causing our back to go into flexion and extension multiple times over a workout. So we may need to widen our feet up, have a more squatty stance when we're deadlifting those dumbbells off the ground. Okay, that allows us to get a little lower. If you know that that's just not gonna happen and that range of motion is not safe for you, then maybe just scale these to hangs or below the knees that most dangerous, or find an elevated surface to go to and tap. So you could go hangs from right here, up, like so, all right? Find an appropriate range of motion that keeps you safe and allows you to get fit and strong today. Right. Next, strict pull-ups. We're looking for a pull-up bar, of course, something you can hang from. Here, nice hollow body shape here. Be able to pull our chin above the bar, lower ourselves back down. Again, the better we can hold the hollow, the better off this will be. For those of you who are gonna do high pulls today, we wanna think about pulling from the back side of our shoulder, pull up, lower down, pull up, lower down. Now, a couple things here. When we're pulling from that back side of our shoulder, you're thinking, rotate this shoulder out and around, like so, pull in there. Also, we wanna think about Elbow is always above the hand. We don't want to get to here where the elbow is sideways like this. We're going to pull, 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 back, back, back. There. So basically, like I'm elbowing someone in the face behind me. All right. Again, base this off of your ability to do 10 unbroken on each hand. If you have a weaker side, scale that. Also, on the burpees, pretty simple here. Go down the ground. Jump back up. Stand. Jump it back. Lots of options there. There's a whole great video on that. Again, you can scale the reps. You can scale the push-up out. You can scale a lot of things in there. Last but certainly not least, because I did not cover them in the run, good options here would be farmer's carries. So you have dumbbells or an object, so you can carry it. I would just carry it for about two minutes, so maybe a 200 meter farmer's carry. You can also scale to rowing or biking if you have those. Even if you have a regular bike, you could ride your bike for an equivalent of two minutes. On that, that'd be fun too. Uh, skateboard rollerblades, also fun. Just gonna be a little tricky to do clean and jerks, pull ups, and stuff in rollerblades. Lastly, on those, you could always do some type of step ups, maybe somewhere around a 240, something like that. Okay? Have fun with this workout, take care, and we'll see you soon.